API let connectivity in the EDI context. Here you can see the uh, API led connectivity with EDI context. Uh, in the uh, in the EDI context, API led approach provides flexibility to, ser to serve different partners as well as control over core systems. Using the retail industry as an example, below is a, here is the diag diagram of API connectivity can coexist with EDI. Uh, in this uh, in this example, we show the following APIs: uh, system API layer. Uh, this layer provides consistent man managed and secure access to backend systems by abstracting uh, and unlocking the data core systems such as legacy backend databases SAP uh, uh, and Salesforce to create pr products APIs order APIs uh, and uh, partner APIs uh, process API layer uh, this layer takes core assets and combines them with the business logic to create uh, more value by aggregating data extracted from the product uh, order and partner APIs. The sales order, uh, sales order invoice and shipping notice APIs are created. These APIs pro process the purchase order, uh, check inventory levels, and create appropriate acknowledgement notices necessary for partners. Uh, experience API layer. Uh, this layer is designed to uh, cons for consumption by a specific. Uh, end user app or device that will be uh, exposed to partners uh, any point partner manager create a partner profile that can be uh, templatized and reused from partner one to partner two uh, if the new partner requires similar b2b or edi formats uh, for example edi 850 via as2 this will ultimately expose be exposed to partners via a web channel or portal to allow for b2b transaction status to be viewed and the associated payloads to be viewed or downloaded. The uh, architectural benefit of this approach uh, includes uh, creating a decoupled architecture that's abstracts away complexity and having a more agile response to change. Uh, all the channels are able to reuse the same process logic so as new partners are onboarded all that's left to manage is the logic of receiving messages. The purchase order processing logic is already backed in and thus allowing the retailer to move, move quicker. This approach can be uh, taken one step further and retailer could apply the uh, API led connectivity approach to the experience uh, API uh, layer 2. In this scenario, trading partners can submit purchase orders via uh, uh, a partner API and create the required EDI 850 uh, message to process the purchase order document. In this way, it could be uh, onboard. Uh, it could onboard partners more quickly by eliminating a inter inter uh, intricacies in EDI for franchises that may not have an EDI gateway or for new retail channels like kiosk that do not speak EDI. To access this uh, EDI, and here the here you can see uh, uh, partners uh, uh, partner one interacts with uh, here. Sorry, here you can see a uh, EDI 850, EDI 810, and EDI 856 uh, in partner one, and here EDI 850, EDI 810, uh, and EDI 856 in partner two, and here EDI 50, EDI 810, and EDI 856 in partner three. Here partner one interacts with the partner one in experience layer and here the partner two is interacts with partner two and partner three interacts with partner three. Here the uh, partner one, two and three are in experience API. Uh, message mappings partner specific and uh, experience API interacts with process APIs, business processing partner agnostic. Here the uh, partner uh, partners uh, interacts with the invoice here. Uh, here the sales order, invoice and shopping notice are in process APIs. Process API interacts with uh, system APIs. Here the uh, sales order, invoice and shopping notice uh, interacts with product API, order API and partner API. Here the product API interacts with product and database and order API interacts with SAP and 
partner in API interacts with the Salesforce. Here you can see sales central IT then uh, in parallel with uh, system API and then um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's connected to a low bid div or IT and it's connected to uh, app div. Uh, LOB is in, in parallel with process API and DevOps in parallel with uh, experience APIs. Now, uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching it.